Uh, I know that a 30 day, 90 day process would not have been enough to help me. Now, what it does for 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 uh, a lot of recovering addicts is create a uh, maintenance program. Welcome to Mission Driven. I'm Derek. And I'm Brother A. Mission Driven is here for us to provide you with information and resources to help you identify those that are struggling with life debilitating addictions. We are a Christ based organization that works with addicts every day. And we've been talking a lot about relapse prevention, and we're going to continue that topic and we're going to kind of dive in a little bit more into the mental aspect of relapse prevention. And, Brother A, this is very crucial to the time that we're living in mental everything everything that's going on in our world people's mentality uh, what's going on and what people are thinking is very crucial so how does that relate to relapse prevention yeah uh, Derek so so the mental aspect of addiction is is vital to address as it relates to uh, relapse prevention if we're not addressing the mental aspect of it it is uh, impossible for uh, a recovering addict to stay sober and right. clean, clean and sober. Um, and so it's important that we dive into this because I think if, if, if the addict or if the recovering addict uh, would work to address the mental aspect of their addiction, it, w- it will really help them maintain sobriety long term. Right. Um, and so there's two aspects of it really from a secular and uh, faith based or spiritual uh, standpoint. Okay. Um, when you're talking about the secular aspect of it, you know, according to addiction experts, uh, addiction is a chronic brain disease. It's okay. referred to as a chronic brain disease, meaning that uh, changes to the brain uh, structure happen, causing an inability for uh, the person to function as they normally would. Okay. Uh, so, that, so that's very important to re- remember uh, from a secular uh, vernacular standpoint, uh, they say the brain has been hijacked. OK, now, you know, I, I, I don't dis- disagree with that. Okay. The brain has been uh, had hijacked as a result of, of the addiction, but more so as a result of the lifestyle. The, okay. the, the behavior that they've been practicing that has that, that the, the drug use that has happened. And, you know, when we look at it from a spiritual standpoint, uh, uh, the, 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 the scripture this, this I want to use this verse as a basis for uh, helping the addict to understand the importance of addressing the mental aspect of, of uh, 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 relapse prevention. Uh, Romans 12 in, 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 in two says this. Uh, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay. Now, I know when most think in terms of the brain and the mind, they put them basically in the same context. But, right. But they, they, they actually are two different functions. You right. Know, the brain is, is an organ. Right. The brain. Yeah. Right. So that's why, you know, we've talked before about uh, what the brain of an addict look like looks mm-hmm. like right uh it, it looks like it has uh holes in it but it's areas of inactivity due to drug use right. um and and so that's why long term um for lack of better words treatment or long ber- long term uh help is so vital to a, a recovering addict because if the if the individual uh in recovery uh, or or is wanting to be in recovery doesn't uh, get into a long term situation to where their brain it takes a minimum of a year for the brain to begin to start restoring itself. Okay, that's great. Right. So 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 a thirty day, twenty eight day, ninety day program uh, is is really ineffective. All it really does the addict to uh, the uh, for the addict is a lot of them to dry dry out. Right. Yeah. You know, it doesn't help them. Uh, in terms of allowing some restoration to take place where their brain is concerned. Right. Uh, on top of that, they haven't learned uh, I- I- anything new about how to live and how to conduct their lives. They haven't, uh, as the verse I just quoted says, uh, renewed their mind. Right. It takes that's a process, but it's not only a a process. It's something that has to happen daily. 
the right. renewing of the mind. Right. You and I uh, have to renew our mind. Whether you, know, you, you, if you're a believer, right? It's the renewing of the mind is a believer's responsibility on a daily basis. How do we do that? Uh, uh, and what what is what is what is it? What is it really? What is that about renewing the mind? So when I said that the brain and the mind uh, are are different, here's here's how they're different. The mind uh, is 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 not controlled by the brain. Okay. Uh, the brain allows you to function your body to function the way it should function. It it allows you to uh, uh, really uh, your arms to move, your legs to move uh, you, so know, you so breathe you, for you to breathe you know right uh, uh so that's why you know if something happens with the brain you know it could render you helpless right um but but where the mind is concerned the mind is is where your will exists okay it's, it's where your it's where you make decisions it's me, it's where you uh 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 are are able to choose right from wrong Okay. So when they speak of the brain being hijacked from a spiritual standpoint, I really see it as you have allowed uh, uh, something to hijack your mind. Okay. Where you are uh, you are unable to make the decisions you need to make that will that will help you change your life. Right. So in, in order for that to to change, the mind has to be renewed. Right. And even that definition that you use, that kind of takes the responsibility off of the person, doesn't it? It, it makes mm -hmm. it a, 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 yeah, it just takes the responsibility off because oh, then I'm made this way. It's not something that I'm choosing to do. But that's, that that's, that's kind of been my biggest issue with uh, that, that approach to treatment and recovery in, in communicating to the in, individual that their brain has been uh, a hijack. It, 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 it sends the message where well, you have no control uh, over what you're doing. Uh -huh. Right. It, the, and, and as a matter of fact, where it says that uh, addiction is a brain disease. <clears throat> right. Basically saying uh, that, that that you have something that you can't control happening in your brain. Um, now, 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 it's true from the standpoint, even where the mind is concerned, you've allowed something to get control of your life uh, that 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 you have to you have to break off of it. And how do you break that off? By renewing your mind. Here's, here's what the proverb says. Most people are familiar with the proverb that says right. what? As a man thinks. Right. But 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 they they never go further than that. And 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 I would I would hope <laughs> that they would because uh, when most people refer to think, they're thinking brain. Right. But the scripture actually says, as a man thinks in his heart. Right. And so from a theological and biblical standpoint, the the uh, the uh, heart and the mind is actually in some way synonymous. OK, right. So uh, in, in essence, I, if you look at the verse I quoted from Romans chapter 12, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It's t it's talking about being able to change uh, the way you think, obviously, right. but 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 your heart being transformed. Right. And unless that happens, you know, unless something happens in an individual a person's heart to change, they continue to do what they've always done. Right. Yeah. And that's very crucial. And if you know somebody or if you're struggling with addiction and you really want to dive more into what how to change your mind and how to help with this mental aspect, please give us a call at Mission Driven at 833-462-8286, or you can go to our website at atctn.org and click on that button right there on the front page that says Get Help Now. So, Brother A, this is very interesting, and I'm glad that we're doing this video podcast because you're talking about the parts of the brain that you can see, and now that we're not just doing audio, I can actually show that graphic that you did back when we did our conference for Mission absolutely, Driven. Absolutely. So in, in this graphic, you can see um, where the the brain is of the person of the addict, and you can see how there's not as much color there. And then you see the one that is actually active, or they've been out of recovery, I think, for a year. Yes, is what it says. Yes. And you can see how those synapses, or they've been in active recovery been, rather for a year. Right. So they're, they're recovering for a year and they, you can start seeing a lot more color into that, that aspect of that brain. So that's, 
that kind of gives you a little bit of visual of what's going on right there as you're talking about that. Yeah, you begin to see the, the brain restoring itself, returning to a, a normal functioning. But, uh, you know, just like the addict didn't get in the condition that it's in over overnight, it's not going to change overnight. Right. So, you know, how, you know, individuals that are uh, using drugs and alcohol and addicted think that they can just get a quick fix by going to some a uh, 30 day program, yeah. 90 day program. Uh, 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 it, it's, it's, uh, it's baffling to me. Um, and, and when I talk about this stuff, I'm not only talking about it from a knowledge, uh, a, a, a educational knowledge standpoint, I'm talking about it from personal experience, right. you know, that, that, uh, I know that a 30 day, 90 day process would not have been enough to help me now, what it does for 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 uh, a lot of recovering addicts is create a uh, maintenance program. Okay. What I mean by that is the the they they complete that treatment program. You know the pro, the program will emphasize the importance of going to ninety minute ninety meetings in ninety days. It will emphasize the importance of reading the big book and and working the 12 step process and finding a sponsor uh, uh, that they talk uh, uh, th- about that a lot and emphasize that. And, and, and from my perspective on it, uh, from a recovery standpoint, uh, personally, as well as as uh, uh, from a, the standpoint of having worked in, in secular recovery, it, it only becomes maintenance. You're doing these things just to keep from using drugs and alcohol. Right. It's not about renewing the mind. No, you're just keeping yourself busy. It, it, well, you, it, that and it's maintenance in the sense that uh, you're putting a band, you, you're keeping a band aid from coming right. off of it. Right. Okay. You know, you, you're keeping the band aid from being pulled off, um, and all it takes is is some event that triggers you to go back out there, and the hope is that you will pick up a phone, call your sponsor, or right. you will you you'll go to a meeting, or you'll do something like that. Uh, to 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 get yourself back on the right track. That's what I mean when I say it's really about maintenance when it comes to that. And I'm not knocking those programs. You got some people who right. are 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 working a recovery program like that and being successful with it. So I'm not I'm not trying to be critical or negative about it. I'm just making the the uh, the contrast between uh, renewing your mind and and, right. and and simply working a a, a program. So what 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 the adult and teen challenge program really focuses on is not simply uh, if you don't pick up, you won't, you won't use, but right. what it focuses, it, 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 what if the focus of it is lifestyle change, right? Lifestyle change can only happen through renewing of the mind. Right. Lifestyle change can only happen uh, when the individual's heart has been transformed. Right. Uh, it, it's, it begins on the inside and then it begins to uh, be reflected on the outside by how you live and what you do and how you conduct your life. Uh, changing, as, as they talk about, as they em- emphasize in even secular programs, uh, changing people, places, and things. But, but, but if my mind hasn't been renewed, that really becomes a difficult task. Right. My mind has to be, when my mind is re- renewed, uh, I no longer... And I'm talking from a spiritual standpoint, when I come into relationship with Jesus Christ, when I give my heart to him, that becomes the 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 the, the transformation work begins. Right. Well, it just doesn't stop there, though. No. You, you have to be, begin to get in God's word. You have to begin to allow the word of God to saturate your heart and mind. And as that begins to happen, you begin to think different. Right. Therefore, you as a man, think it. So is he. You begin to think differently. Therefore, you begin to talk different. You begin to walk different. You begin to live different. Right. Because you no longer desire the old people, places and things. Right. You begin to desire something new. That's right. And here at Adult and Teen Challenge of Heartland, we really do focus on changing that mindset, changing that mind, helping you to find... uh, Christ and so help him to rely on him to help him continue the work that he's begun in you as we start here we're just I just really feel blessed that God is actually is using this ministry to help these men 
to uh, change that mind and have that new mindset and just uh, the renewing of the mind. And I Correct. really think it's really cool how you see the scripture and you've read the scripture, but at the same time now with science and everything like that, we can see in God's infinite wisdom, hey, you know what? I've been telling you this for thousands of years, and now look, here's here's images of your brain that you can actually see how you're re- the renewing of your mind through you know, this. You know, the interesting thing about what you're saying, and I, I was, you know, thinking about this uh, earlier, you know, as you, as you look at uh, the world and society we live in, uh, we, we, tend to put all our eggs in the basket of human experts. Right. When the reality is the one true ec- expert is not on this earth. That's right. That's the one right. true expert is not on this earth. And 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 the one the, the expert that I listen to and I follow was was is Jesus when he said uh uh let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Right. He's saying that for a reason, because uh, uh, God created us and he he knows what his intent and purpose was and created us and and how we should live our lives, how we live the blessed life. Um, And so if we're wise and of course, wisdom comes from him and it only will you only have it if you have a relationship with him. Uh, uh, If we're wise, we work to to have the mind of Christ. Right. We work to have our mind renewed, to think like and not simply put a uh, put. Now, I'm not I'm not uh, negating the importance of experts and, you know, doctors and therapists and those people. They're, they're right. important. God, they're, they have they have a gift from God. Right. Uh, to do what they're doing. They have a calling from God, even whether they know God or not. Right. Um, God has given them that calling to do that. Uh, I don't think it's strange that it was in their heart to do that, even if they didn't know. God, right. I, I believe he put it there. However, uh, I can't put all my stock in them because they're men. That's right. And they can be an error. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, Brother mm-hmm. A, this has been it's such a fascinating topic, and I hope we can spend some more time on this. Absolutely. Just to talk about the mental aspect of this. But we are kind of, we're out of time. But I just want to thank you for joining us here at Mission Driven. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please email us at missiondriven at ATCTN. Org. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, video podcast, and you're struggling with addiction, give us a call at 833-462-8286 or go to our website at atctn.org and click on that button, get help now and fill out that form. We really do want to help you and we really do want to hear from you. And remember, there is so much that you can do and we have to change your mind not change your mind, but you have to change your mindset and we have to have that renewal of your mind that you can only get through Christ as this as we go through this. So I want to thank you. This has been a production of Heartland Adult and Teen Challenge. And remember, there is hope being free from your addictions. Mm-hmm.